Welcome to Mr. Gale's PE at Home video. Um, this one is for early years, year one and year two. I've got three activities for you guys today. Um, we're going to focus a little bit on fitness and we're also going to do some ball skills. If you haven't got a ball, don't worry, I've got an alternative that you can use. Okay, so our first activity of today is called On the Move. Now, there's three items that I've dotted around uh, the classroom here. You could dot them around your living room, dot them all over your house. Okay, uh, the further apart that they are, the harder the challenge um, and the more active you're going to be. Okay, so I've got a ruler with three sets of rulers. Okay, I've got three sets of um, a pencil pot and I've got three books. And I've dotted them all over the uh, classroom. Now, each item represents a different movement. Okay, if I run up to and I meet my first pencil pot, which is just here, that's it, my first pencil pot, okay, that is 10 jumps. I need to do 10 jumps. Now, a jump, very, very simple. You're not going to do star jumps. You're going to go down and touch the floor, and then you need to jump as high as you can. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten jumps. Then you're going to run around, get your breath back, you're going to come to a book. Now, the book's a little bit easier. You're going to try and do a balance for 10 seconds without falling on the floor. So you're going to go. Use my arms, try to balance, stand on one leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want to make it harder, you might do one leg and one arm. You might be like that. Make it a little bit harder. Make it even harder. You might even go on your back. You might do something like this. Challenge yourselves. Be creative. Do something different each time. And our last one, our last item, is our ruler. Now, if you get to the ruler, you're going to do 10 hops. So you stand on one leg, 10 hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so once you've laid out all of your items, like I said, there should be three items, um, different ones each time. Okay, it might be, I've got nine items laid out on the floor. Okay, each one represents different movements. So we've got jumps, We've got hops and we've got balancing. Once you've done, and once you've come to each one, do your activity and then move to the next one. So I'll run to my pencil pot, I will do my jump, my 10 jumps. Once I've done my 10 jumps, I go to my book and do my balance, 10 seconds. Then I run to my ruler and I need to do my hops. Then I'm going to keep going and I'm going to go on to my next one. Back to my pencil pot, I'm going to do 10 jumps again. Then I go to my book and I do my balance. And I go to my ruler and I do my hops. You should be doing at least nine different um, nine different items you're visiting. Okay, that means that should be nine different items. Each one is ten. Ten jumps, ten hops, ten seconds. If you want to challenge yourselves, do it more times, do it for longer. See if you can get to 20 jumps, see if you can get to 30 jumps, okay? Um, and then we'll move on to our next activity. Okay guys, hopefully you're not too tired after that first challenge. Lots of jumping, lots of balancing, lots of hopping in that one. Now this one, okay, is called Throw, Clap, Catch. Now, and the name, very simple. Okay, you can have a tennis ball like me. If you haven't got a tennis ball, you can have a scrunched up piece of paper. Okay, that will still work. All right, and um, before you start this activity, make sure that you ask your parents if they're okay with you doing it. Make sure that they're supervising you, just because um, here you're gonna be throwing a ball or a piece of paper um, in your house, or if you can do it outside, that's great. Um, and I don't want you to break anything, um, particularly the ceiling or the lights. So, first one, very, very simple. Okay, you're gonna throw your ball up in the air, you're gonna clap, and you're gonna catch. You might have done this with me before in PE, okay? Now, put it up in the air. 
key you'll notice is I'm keeping my eyes on the ball. To start off with, I'm not moving anymore, I'm staying in one place. Okay, I'm giving myself enough time to clap and catch. When you feel like you've got the hang of it, try and do 10 of those. Okay, and then we're going to move on to the next one, which is going to be two claps. Bro. Done two, we're going to go on three. Close. That was four. See how many claps you can do before you have them drop it. Remember, make sure you don't hit the finger on the ceiling. So I suggest you start with a piece of paper to start off. So, need my piece of paper. If anything, it might be easier with paper because it's going to fall slower. It might give you more time to try and catch. Now, once you've given that a go, okay, we're gonna move on and see if we can do it in a different way. So, challenge number two or three, you're gonna throw the, your piece of paper off in the air, clap behind you, and catch. That one's really tough. That might challenge you a little bit. Okay, if you're feeling confident, you might try a throw, and then tap underneath your legs. Keeping my eye. Okay, once you've had a little play of that, give it a couple of minutes, and then we're going to have a go at moving around the uh, area. So we're going to move around the classroom, same activity, but now not only do I need to keep my eyes on the ball, but I also need to make sure I can see where I'm going. So I'm using my coordination skills, okay, and my catching skills at the same time. Can I move between the obstacles? So you might put pose, or so you might put uh, pillows, or chairs, just to move around your house whilst you're throwing and catching. Make sure that your parents uh, supervise you with this, make sure that they're okay with you doing it. Like I said, use a piece of paper to start off with, until you can work. Then you can go on to using a uh, tennis So I'm going to give it a go. Do throw, back, back. I'm trying to move between. Oh, drop it ready. This is the arm, very good. Between each chair. I've got obstacles in my way. I'm going to have to be really clever where I throw and where I start. Awesome. Now, if you are outside, this is an extra challenge. If you want to go and stretch yourselves even further, okay? If you're outside or you've got nice tall ceilings, okay? You might do, or you've got a tennis ball, you can balance it. My last challenge, if you have got a ball, okay, my last one on this one is going to be bounce, spin, try and catch. So bounce, spin, catch. Okay, have a go. It's fantastic work, well done, really, really good. I hope you enjoyed that one, I hope you enjoyed the clap and the catch. Our next challenge, and our last challenge of today, just to keep you active, get you moving, is called Around the World. Okay, now, you've got to imagine that your ball is a planet, and it is moving around your body. Okay, you might have a ball. I'm going to use my paper again. Okay, and the challenge is around the world, you've got to see if you can get the ball to go around your waist as many times as you can in 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to time myself. And I'm just going to see how many times I can do it. See if you guys can beat me. I reckon maybe 20 times is good. Start. You can do it for more than 20 times so you can get 30. Let's see what I can get. You ready? Let's go.
Okay, I'm really interested to see how many you guys could do in 60 seconds. How many times do you move your ball or your item around your body in 60 seconds? Maybe ask your parent to count and see how many you can do. Okay, or even better, if you've got any brothers or sisters, see who can get the most, see who wins. Okay, to make it harder, you might move around the area like I did. Okay, to make it even harder, you might even get yourselves to hop. Okay, now, last challenge before we finish, okay? And um, this one is going to be around the world, but instead of going around your waist, we're now going to go in between your legs. So we move back a little bit so you can see. Okay, so it's going to go in between each leg, in a figure of eight. So you're going to keep passing it between your legs. Again, have a go. See how many you can do in 60 seconds. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've got three lovely activities that you can do to keep you active, keep you fit. Um, if you're bored or you want to do more, you want to get more active, do it again. Maybe get your brothers and sisters involved, even better, get your parents involved. Okay, um, and also I'm going to be uploading a few more videos uh, for three and four, uh, and five and six later on this week. If you really want to challenge yourself, you can give, it, you can give yourself. Uh, a bit of a challenge and, and have a go at those as well. Okay, uh, I've also just recently updated the PE at home time ta uh, timetable. So um, I sent that to all the parents, so to all the teachers. And so you guys log into Google Classroom, you should be able to see that. Each day there's four different links, and, and I've revamped it a little bit, made it a bit more exciting. So there's completely different activities there everything from Joe Wicks to dance to yoga um, to also physical phonics. So thanks, guys. See you next week.